A hero dad tackled another man at Target who was trying to covertly take photos of his daughter and other women. You're watching What's Trending, I'm Martine Beerman. Make sure to subscribe for more stories about pervs who get what's coming to them. Surveillance footage from a Target in Cypress, California captured Jorge Ibarra using his phone to try and take photos from underneath multiple women's skirts. At the checkout counter, customer Ismael Duarte sprung into action. Uh, protect mode, you know, my daughter, you know, and then the girl that actually was getting their picture taken without her being known, you know, that's what got me. Duarte and his wife chased Ibarra into the parking lot and snapped a photo of his license plate. And if your license plate has ALF and 666 on it, you're probably the devil. Police used the plate to track Ibarra to his home and then arrested him. Who the heck takes pictures of teenage girls in inappropriate situations? Why you gotta do that? You actually thought no one would notice? Especially in a public place or at a Target. They have cameras everywhere. There's no way you're getting away with that buddy. Apparently this guy had gone to multiple targets on this one day, pulling the exact same crap. Duarte only started following the guy around the store after he saw him trying to take photos of his own daughter. I mean, it's great that this guy was following him around the store and he took action, but if that had been my dad, all hell would have broken loose. His wife Angelica said she was disgusted imagining him having pictures of her daughter. It's very disgusting. It's disgusting that he knew exactly what he was doing. If he went to different targets to do this, how many other stores did he go to? Now, if you're one of those classy YouTube commentators who thinks this kind of thing isn't a big deal, Think again, because trying to take upskirt pictures of anyone counts as unlawful surveillance and is a felony. In California, it can get you six months in jail and a $1,000 fine. Though so people convicted of a peeping Tom crime do not have to register as sex offenders. Fred Caruso, who works at New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art, was recently arrested for taking secret photos of more than 50 women over the last several years. He called it obsessive behavior and told police that he knew his actions were going to ruin his life. No shit, because now Caruso faces up to four years in prison. And we were actually kind of shocked to see how frequently this happens, especially at Target. The security camera shows Aaron Stahl casually walking into Target. And investigators say while in one of the aisles, he proceeded to use his cell phone with flash. Police now asking for help to identify a man accused of taking pictures up a woman's skirt at a Target store. Investigators say it happened at the Target on Canyon Springs Parkway in January. Minky was in court this morning on charges of voyeurism and attempted voyeurism. Police say he was upskirting, sneaking pictures up the skirts of female victims. One victim 19 years old, the other just 14. The crimes happened inside the Springdale Target store earlier this month. She says she saw this man squatting down with his phone in his hand. Well, that's when she says she noticed a flash and realized he was taking pictures up the skirt of a woman leaning over. Caught on surveillance video. Uh-oh. Well, you can see the suspect approaching the woman from behind. Who does this? And then appearing to snap a photo under her skirt. Well, this all happened at a Target store in Tempe, Arizona. Who does this? Apparently everyone. Not upskirt related, but I do think voyeurism is a problem. Obviously for women is terrifying. It does scare me, like even going to the bathroom sometimes as a woman, there's been people who have put cell phones up stalls to take pictures of women. And then I always have that like, if there's a vent in the bathroom when you go to a public place, like has somebody installed a camera? I think that is such a scary and crazy place like to be in just in general and where we are with media and the fact that that is an option. It wasn't an option like before camera phones. What do you guys think? Are you ever gonna go to a Target again? And if you do, are you gonna make sure you're wearing pants? Let us know in the comments and for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.